Well, I think that because we're a water sport and we rely heavily on the environment, it's really important to have a conscious effort together to have some sustainable solutions. So just looking at how we can reduce our waste and make sure that we're finding out ways that we can continue to do our sport. Well, of course, uh, since kids in Kanoslalom we learn to love and understand water. So I think that sustainable is just to learn to love and understand the world where we live. Well, I think it's huge because we live from the rivers, that's what we do. We are every day in the water and I think it's a huge part to give back to the rivers and have clean environments so that we can keep doing the sport and that we can keep enjoying where we live. Even before this issue became such a big issue, I think going back to even my first world championships in the 1980s, I just had an awareness that we were paddling on these incredible natural resources not just channels but these natural rivers and we knew that it was taking us somewhere special so they always had a special meaning in the place of our life and kind of what it meant to the development of our lives i just think now based on what we know about the environment and what we know about our planet is that there's just so much more heightened awareness about that that's just kind of come to fruition and just put us in the position of like what are we going to do now? Uh, yeah, I've definitely known about it and knowing that the ICF is definitely making conscious efforts to make solutions. Um, I have seen some places where you can fill up your own water bottles versus giving single-use plastics. Uh, also having the different bins for organics, for recycling, for trash. Um, but I think that there's still more that can be done and I think collectively we can all work together and put together our heads and do some more things. Last year at the World Cup there was some information about it, about the sustainable events and this year since the beginning there were news at the website and here the volunteers explain us. So I think it's great that this time we have water bottles and there is like um, portable water to drink and I think that helps a lot. I already noticed some changes um, uh, in the paper we, they're wasting from the results. Now everything is in the internet so there is some big reduce of paper waste. Here in Laseo specifically um, I, I do know about you know the small steps that we've been changing and especially with with containers you know for you know drinking water but also here in the Pyrenees Mountains where I live, I do a lot of trail running now. And I mean, it's very common in our sport to be, you know, running with your own water cups. You know, you don't use paper cups at water stops anymore. You bring your own reusable water cup. And I think those kind of changes, they're small, but small is important. That's how everything starts. You want to get more awareness going. You start with things like, stop using paper cups and bring your own. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things as athletes uh, that we can do. Uh, we actually have a terrible carbon footprint because we fly all over. So I think even just putting World Cups closer so we don't have to fly in between locations. Uh, flights are one of the worst things on our planet. Um, having more vegetarian options, uh, so we're using less meat. Um, even we all have our own water bottles, so we, they don't need to give us water bottles. Uh, there's lots of solutions if we just put our heads together. And... Two things that really strike out, strike me, is that on the small part, how can people be, be using more of their own reusable containers and reusable resources? But second, we should be telling the story of encouraging our athletes to tell the story of what they're doing on the water so that that can better connect with their respective audiences on social media and the platforms that they're building and just showcasing rivers as something that truly adds to quality of life and so many lessons that we can learn from that. But we just have to be good at not just showing the cool places where we, we are, but let's really kind of dial in on the messaging and, and say, gosh, this is a real opportunity to, to keep that momentum going. We must do, to introduce it, uh, at our daily actions, we must consume less, uh, reuse more everything that we use, and try to recycle all the things that we can recycle. Yes, we can. We, we should uh, reduce uh, using the bot uh, plastic bottles. Uh, yeah, so I started working with an organization called Protect Our Winters. 
Uh, so basically, we all know that our planet is heating up, um, and so Protect Our Winters is coming up with solutions and putting uh, pressure on legislation so that we can have governing bodies basically give us rules to help the environment. So uh, it's protecting winter, so it's making sure that we have winters and glaciers to cool our planet. Here in Lasso, I think that it's nearly easy because we always buy local products and we try to be more respectful with the place where we live because we are really connected with nature. One thing I already, always, always do is uh, when I paddle and find some bottle in the water or some waste, I will pick it up, put it in the boat and take it out. It's one of the more important uh, parts of the camp we're going to make. Uh, we're going to teach uh, everybody how to, how to take care of the river uh, and how important it is for us. Because without it, we cannot do this sport. So we need to spread that and keep working with the community there. We're going to uh, be with everybody and share our experience here and what we have seen in this competition and in other competitions so we can keep working.